Hey everybody, it's PSCJ here with you with a new video. This time we're going to be playing a game that I hold near and dear to my heart, Sim Theme Park, specifically the PlayStation version. I'm going to address the elephant in the room now. Yes, I am very much aware that it's going to be looking funny. I am using playing this on an emulator. It is easier to record that way with kind of tutorial because I know what I'm doing. I swear. And let's get started. I'm probably going to end up moving the shark over here. So Sim, Sim Theme Park, or Theme Park World, as it's known everywhere else in the world, outside of America. Okay, there are lots of ways to earn gold tickets. Oops, whoops. Some of which are hidden, but in every park... It's, it's very similar to uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon, but I think more accurately, it's... This shark is in a bad spot. It's closer to Sim City. So basically, we're going to be making a theme park. I mean, what else would you expect with a game called Sim Theme Park? Alrighty. There actually are a couple of things I wanted to talk about in this episode. Firstly, as I'm sure you know, Can I have your attention, Joe recently put up a video talking about uh, stuff like the game rating system and... How oh, that's really problematic the way we see game. Oops. Uh, get used to that, folks. How the game rating system as we know it is a little flawed, for lack of a better term. Visitors aren't impressed with the selection of rides here. You should consider building more. And, yeah, I absolutely agree. Because at the end of the day, no matter how much you think it is, and those reviews are impacted by opinion. It's more based on how much the reviewer in question enjoyed the game rather than anything actual about the game. And again, don't pretend like it's not. We all know it is. I can play a game and love it, like Sim Theme Park, and give it a good score, and someone like Joe could play it, not like it for whatever reason, and give it a not as good score. We're playing the same game. How can the score be different if it's the same game? Because the reviews are opinionated. Period. That's it. So... You, re you see a review for a game, and what you're getting is that reviewer's opinion of that game. That doesn't mean that if you play the game, you're not going to like it. Period. That's it. I mean, that's not it. There is a little more than that. As I focus on placing this stupid trash can somewhere. There we go. Alright. The other thing I wanted to say. What was it? The number system, yes. The number system is absolutely flawed. Absolutely. Because once a game starts... Games don't get rated below 7. Like at all. Anything below seven people don't play it. And that's why so many and games that deserve it makes games get higher scores than they should. For example, back when me and Joe were doing flashback Fridays, I gave certain games higher scores than I think they should have gotten because I thought they were good games and I knew if I gave something a 7 or a 6 when I thought it was good, people wouldn't play it. Or they would think it was a bad game. 
And I personally feel that the optimal number system is that because Joe gave a bunch of examples like, oh, baseball, 33% optimal, football, 40% optimal, or whatever it was. I personally feel that for games and by extension movies, the optimal, like the average rating should be 5 out of 10. 50%, halfway. 6 is good, 7 is very good, 8 is great, 9 is superb, and 10 is amazing. Not perfect, but amazing, because I feel like there should be a difference. I feel like no game is perfect, because it is a, uh, nothing created by humans can be perfect, because they always have some sort of flaw somewhere. So... An active reverse would be true, four would be poor, three would be very poor, and then, whoop, keep doing that, and one would be god awful. And honestly, I feel like if I had the liberty to. If I had the ability to, I would absolutely do something to that, about it. But I'm just one person, and I'm not really a very influential person either in the whole world of gaming. No, no, some people are not happy. What are they not happy about? Hmm. Shops that are currently available. Do you want to research some more? Yeah, it's this. Alright, I made a mistake somewhere with that. So basically, to go back to some theme park, it is what you expected it to be. It's Sim City in a theme park. When the PlayStation, the PlayStation version is very different from the PC version. I actually did a review from it. I'll link it in the description for you guys. Basically, you have four themed, four themes. This is prehistoric, and you also got uh. Fantasy. Think your cost too much. Oh, God. oh, I don't have bathrooms. Oops. I think a little market research is in order. You've already built all of the available shops. Maybe you should research some others. There's a prehistoric fantasy, uh, spooky, and space. Good old space. From there. And I'll put a bath in here. Great job. People in the park are really enjoying themselves. Keep it up. Gosh. A new feature has been researched. You know, a feature as in I'll just run to the feature and powder my nose. Yeah. Or uh, let's sit down on this feature and take a look. Let's mm, see. Let's see. Fountain. Basically, you want to make your park successful and beautiful. Typical. Typical fair for this kind of game. People think your side shows are a really good deal. Keep up the good work. All right, looks like people are happy with what we got so far. So basically, nah, I don't really know what I want to say now. The big goal right now is to get four golden tickets. We got one earlier. We'll get Your another one when we get a hundred people in the park. Let's see how many we got now. 
right now we have 37. So once that number hits 100, we got a gold ticket. <sighs> got four of them, and you can buy a camcorder, and you can walk around the park, and you can also use gold tickets to go walk new Some parks. Some of the visitors who tried new sideshows aren't happy. You should try to find out what went wrong. They're lost. Like losers. That's why they're not happy. Man, it seems like plenty of people are coming out happy. Oh, this isn't it. This is. I need to pull up the price a little bit, I think. Seems like everybody's pretty happy with that. What I want to do next is open up this area here. You're doing a great job. And I got a little loop. People in the park are really enjoying themselves. Keep it up. People think your food is a great value. Way to go. Good. Everyone seems to be pretty happy so far. I'll probably be live streaming. I'll probably be live streaming, live streaming this game from after this initial episode, so that way I can talk to you guys while I play. It'll probably make things a little bit more bearable for everybody. I wish you could turn off the advisor altogether. He comes in way too frequently. Like, you just saw, I literally just got the upgrade. Oh, there's the mechanic. He's going through right now. You've researched some wide upgrades that you haven't used. Maybe you She's use literally them. working on it right this second. You're doing a great job. People in the park are really enjoying themselves. Alright, so that's the upgrade down on this. So that means you can make it a little faster without it breaking. You can get more people on it at a time. So basically, you can modify the length of the ride, how fast it moves, which thing makes it more exciting, but makes it break down faster. Duration does the same thing. And capacity is how many people you can fit on it at a time. As you upgrade your rides, those go up, and the amount of how much to make the ride break down goes down. So basically, it's in your best interest, so guys, upgrades for all of them. Each ride can be upgraded twice, blah, blah, blah. This guy is cleaned. Some of the people who have eaten in your park feel like they've gotten a bad view. You need to improve the situation before more visitors get angry. A new feature has been researched. Why? Even the features have new features. 
visitors are having a great time. Now keep up the good work. Okay, let's put the trash can here. And I got the fountain. Some visitors who bought drinks went away dissatisfied with the quality. And you ought to make improvements before more people get angry. Maybe I should hire another uh, researcher. Get some stuff faster. It doesn't seem like everybody's pretty happy. So. Oh, I know what I could do. I could put this thing back. You're doing a great job. Put it over People here. People in the park are really enjoying themselves. Although I'm trying to block them. You know what I gotta do? I will edit the line. Eureka! We've discovered a new rhyme. Okay. That's that. And that should Whoever said that there's nothing new under the sun hasn't met your researchers. So here, yes. Okay, so that's that. Eureka! We've discovered a new ride. Oh wait. We've researched a new ride upgrade, but that's good too. Okay, so I think a little market research is in order. You've already built all of the available shops. Maybe you should we got a new rod, and we can put the... Let's put it over here, because we've got too many rides over here. Mostly just games and stuff. Your visitors are having a great time. Keep up the good work. And now we should have the ice cream shop. Yeah. I'm really not entirely sure if the security cameras even do anything. But I know if your park is considered safe, you get an award. And that's good for a ticket. That's something I still never... Like, even on the real game, I can't navigate these menus very well. Oh wait, we got a... I think a little market 
Oh, you almost got the uh, Pokemon game. Okay. Your visitors are having a great time. Let's Keep see. up the good work. Oh, a new sideshow has been researched. Now we can all rest a little easier. Alrighty. A new feature has been researched. You know, a feature as in. I'll just run uh, to the feature and powder my nose, or uh, let's sit down on this feature and take a look. Oops. Eureka! We've discovered a new ride. Oh, wait. We've researched a new ride upgrade, but that's good, too. Okay. So what's that now? So that's it for the shy shows for now. Come on, I'm going to go fancy. Visitors find your ticket prices very cheap. Maybe you should raise them. And we got Black and Mole. You've already built all of the shops that are currently available. Do you want to research some more? I'm going to get a little easier to win, cost about that. That way I'm not going to like to play it, I won't be losing too much money. I think what I want to do actually is put another fire shop here, a staff room here, a drink shop there, and a bathroom here. And trash room. The bathroom and the trash can here. Nice work! You've discovered a hidden award. For having seen to it that enough of your shops have trash cans to keep the park tidy, please accept the and there you guys go. That's why I put garbage cans in front of everything. And let's go take a look at that. Researchers have discovered some upgrades. Have let's you thought about see, using would be park statistics. I think a little and there is our award. That pulls us up the two shops. gold tickets now. And let's see how our research is going. That's done. Let's see how we're doing on our visitors. We need about 22 more people. Okay. Your visitors are having a great time. Let's see where the bus is. And here comes the bus now. Okay, that pulls us up to 80 people. Our park's coming, looks like it's coming together as a nice little bit now. Do we have any more stuff we can put up? Nothing here yet. We got those up. We got those up. Alrighty, guys. I think that's going to about wrap things up for this episode. We got a nice little chunk of work done. We started our first part. If you like this series, check back next time. Here comes another boss. Check back next time, and we will have more stuff, probably. There's another guest. Hey, hello, guest. Alrighty, guys. Take care. Take care, and see you next time.